My coverage of Computex 2017 is brought to you by MSI, EVGA, Tesoro, G-Skill, and Cooler Master. Guys, I'm over at Fantex now. Uh, they have a newer vision of their Enthu Pro M case, some water cooling stuff, as well as the Shift X, the final version. Let's start over here with the Enthu Pro M, which you maybe have seen before, but this one has been upgraded in order to make it a special edition. Uh, so first off, right at the front, at the top, you might notice a bit of RGB accents on here. That hasn't existed on the Enthu Pro M before, neither the original version nor the tempered glass version that's right here. So they basically have added a uh, RGB controller. It's the same one that you might find on the Enthu Evolve, for example. So it allows you to manually uh, select different RGB colors. Or of course you can tie it in uh, with the motherboard and it already works with the ASUS Aura as well as I believe MSI Mystic Light. Uh, and you can automatically connect it to a motherboard to control all of the LEDs in the case. Now inside the case you might also know some, notice some white accents um, which, which gives it a distinct look and that's what makes it a special edition. So if you guys are looking for a two-tone black and white version of the N3 Pro M with some RGB connectivity, well there it is. Now inside here you're going to see a lot of uh, Fantex's water cooling stuff. Uh, a lot of the tubing and fittings and stuff that they have just been working on, they've told us that this is just finally shipped into the US and you might be able to find these fittings uh, at performance PCs or directly from the Fantex website. Also over there on the right, uh, they have a new uh, reservoir slash pump and I'll show you guys more on that in just a second. But before we get into that, let's take a look at these. These are called the Halos. We got the Halos standard on the left, the Halos Lux on the right. These are not fans. They're fans, well, they are fans, but they're fans brackets. This is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so you got a bracket like this. You have these available in a plastic finish on the left, as well as this aluminum finish on the right. Uh, they're going to be about 10 bucks for the ones on the left, and they're going to be about 17 or $21 for these over here, depending on the size that you get if you want the metal frame. But it's just a frame that can go over any fan, and they have examples here with uh, black fans on the top, white fans on the bottom has an array of LEDs around the outside that shoots across the fan. So if you have like a high performance fan that you've always wanted to add RGB to uh, or lighting to, then you can do that. And these just have the standard four pin RGB connector that uh, all of the Fantex uh, RGB strips and everything connect up with. And uh, they're pretty cool option to drop onto something like say, uh, I'm gonna say a Noctua uh, industrial fan would be a, a great option for something like that. Here's the Glacier Series R160. This is that combination reservoir and pump or optional pump thing that I was just telling you guys about. Basically, it's an acrylic milled reservoir, and then it's got a space on the bottom where you can drop in a, pretty much a standard DDC pump like this one right here. Uh, on the back of it, you also have a heat, uh, a heat sink that's actually aluminum, and they've got a nickel plated uh, copper plate in between to make sure the aluminum doesn't contaminate any of the fluid in your loop. It also comes with a bracket. You can affix that to any 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter uh, fan mount on your case and then you can uh, position this pump reservoir uh, in a lot of different configurations so a pretty good option there now if you guys watched my ces coverage this year i already uh, showed you quite a few of the glacier series of uh, gpu blocks that fantex is making they come in a nickel finish or a sandblasted uh, finish uh, with the black finish right there sandblasted aluminum that's what i'm trying to say uh, they've already got those for the founders edition as well as the asus strix they're expanding this line uh, with some msi and gigabyte options as well so uh, it's always nice to have gpu block uh, choices and especially if you want something from fantex and especially if you have a custom designed uh, gpu from the likes of msi or gigabyte well you got options for there too once again, here's a look at the fittings really quick. These are available in compression as well as, uh, so you can, compression fitting as well as hardline tubing. Uh, so you can use soft or hard tubing with these. Also finished in black or in silver. Uh, and they have, they have a nice, nice finish to them. They're very solid. Again, they got a couple of systems set up here with these. So um, Fantex is really kind of fleshing out their entire line of uh, liquid cooling products. They've also added the Glacier C350A right here. This is an AMD uh, version, so AM4. Fanatics, you can now water cool your Ryzen CPU with this, uh, compatible with AM AM4 socket. Now also if you watched my CES coverage, we briefly covered Project 217, uh, which are mini ITX chassis concepts from Fantex. These have now been named, they're called the Shift X. Uh, so you got a tall one here in the front, got a shorter one there in the back. The tall one's going to retail for 160 US dollars, 159. I rounded up to 160 <laughs> and the one in the back is going to be $110 or 100, 109 
99 if you if you want to save a penny or two uh, again these are made for mini itx builds so uh, compatible with mini itx motherboards of course but um why would you need something this tall if you have a mini itx board well to water cool that's that's why you do that uh, and if they, right now they have set up with uh, one of the adjustments they made from project 217 which was to uh, reverse the mounting of the GPU so you could actually see the business end of it, um, which they have displayed here with one of their water blocks, which looks really nice. Um, now, there's, a, a, there's quite a few actually different configurations that you can do with this case. Um, they have one set up right here. I'm probably not going to be able to list all of them for you, but uh, you can, of course, swap out the liquid cooling stuff if you want more space in there. So for drive support, for example, uh, on the taller one here, you can fit two SSDs on the front, Two more down here on a lower bracket, and you can actually do two 3.5 inch drives uh, up here at the front if you were to, of course, remove uh, the uh, radiator and fans that they have on there right now. So that was another suggestion that they got that they uh, followed from feedback from CES was to add some 3.5 inch drive mounts in there just to, to be able to outfit this with uh, a lot of storage if you wanted to make a NAS out of it or something like that. Now, construction-wise, these are made of aluminum or aluminium, if you want to pronounce it properly. Uh, on, and the taller one has a aluminum top plate as well. You can pop up, and uh, as you can see by the configuration of the motherboard in there, you get all your motherboard I/O right here up top. So very easy to access. There is some front panel uh, plugs, so you don't completely lose out on your front panel connectors, and they're actually tucked around, sort of in the back. But the idea is that the business end of the, of the system is going to be right up here on top where you can access it easily. The smaller version, which is just the shift without the X, has a plastic top uh, piece. That's just to keep the price on it down. Uh, and then since you are potentially going to have some dust on here, there is a filter up on top to keep that out of the system. But again, the idea is that uh, you have intakes on the front and the bottom. It's going to be positive pressure inside the case pushing air up, so you shouldn't have too much dust accumulation up on top there. Here's the 3.5 inch mount on the standard shift. Uh, you, can, you can drop a 3.5 inch drive in here basically without um, affecting any of the cooling options in the shift. And uh, you also have a 2.5 inch mount option there as well if, uh, you know, if you prefer an SSD. Finally, here's a couple examples of the shift X and the shift in more of a living room environment. So you can put it uh, horizontally like this and it kind of takes the position like you might have of a speaker bar or something like that, but very clean look and would definitely fit in a living room environment. Uh, this one, of course, is going to be made more for enthusiast water cooling and that sort of thing. But the standard shift over here, as we can see, is positioned vertically. And uh, Fantex wanted to show off that you can actually fit uh, a water-cooled GPU and a water-cooled CPU in here using all-in-one liquid cooling. They have a Corsair H60 or H70 in there, as well as the MSI uh, Seahawk hybrid uh, liquid-cooled graphics card. And they've actually managed to route uh, the radiators to the, for both of them down here to the bottom to match up with the intakes for the case. Uh, so you still get that bottom-to-top uh, natural flow of air um, for cooling for the shift. So pretty cool case. I like it. And finally, guys, here's the Eclipse P300. This is uh, sort of the, the little brother, I guess you might say, to the P400, but uh, it's only going to cost $59.99 or $60 to those of you who like round numbers. Um, basically, you're going to have RGB control on the top. Again, the same one that you might find in the N2 Evolve. Uh, that's going to give you a little bit of RGB accent on the button. And then there's a little, little RGB down here. Uh, you also have, of course, a tempered glass side panel. Uh, you have a completely painted interior, uh, it does ship with a single 120 millimeter fan in the back and the uh, base where the basement is for the power supply, they've actually taken the case and sort of wrapped that up in order to make that shroud for the power supply, uh, which reduces on their uh, cost of production, which is why they're able to sell this case for 60 bucks. Very nice looking case for $60, especially with that RGB in there. Uh, and then you also have, again, a tempered glass side panel. So a little bit smaller, again, because of that uh, uh, basement down there where the power supply goes, but a uh, very interesting design. You do have a couple 3.5 inch drive mounts right up here in the front, and uh, you can access those by popping the front panel off, and then they put a little cable uh, routing area back there so you can route your cables for your uh, SSDs or hard drives back there. This case does come with dust filters. There's uh, one on the front panel that's uh, not here right now because this is just a sample. Uh, and there's a dust filter on top as well for the 120 millimeter exhaust. And here in the back, you can see even with a budget case, you got a pretty decent amount of cable management. They put a nice little tucked away uh, routing area there so you can fit most of your large cables. And then again, thanks to the fact that you've got a covered up PSU basement down in the bottom, just uh, tuck away all of the rest of your cables and you're good to go. That is again, the P300 from Fantex and it'll be available 
when will it be available? When can we buy this? Uh, Q3, they're saying. So uh, right in that time frame. Nice, nice budget option. 60 bucks. I like it. Good job, Vantix. Again, keep saying good job, Vantix. It's okay. So guys, that wraps it up for my coverage here from the Fantex suite. Uh, I got tons more coverage from Computex 2017 coming at you really soon. A final thank you to my sponsors once again, to Soro, EVGA, MSI, G-Skill, and Cooler Master. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys soon.